So today's video is all about the goals and skills that only a few players ever perform. Some of these tricks might only ever be seen once in hundreds if not thousands of games and today I'm going to be seeing just how difficult they actually are. So first up I tried out the Marcelo control and as you can see it wasn't actually that difficult. So I was able to get it pretty much every time, but as you can see, sometimes things like this happen. That was perfect. So next up, we've got the front flip throw, and this is probably one of the rarest ones of the video and a skill you really do not see very often, but if you can pull it off, it's an awesome and pretty useful skill to learn. Okay, so I decided we should probably learn this with a bit of safety, so go for it. Alright, that's the start. Oh, I think we've got it. Oh, yes, okay. Let's get one without the mat, and then I'll go back to the pitch and try it. It's a lot scarier when there's no mat down. Okay, so, so I feel like we can do the front flip now. Now we've got the football. This is where it gets tricky. So after practicing and getting used to the flip motion, it was time to take it to the pitch. Now at this point my attempt shed more resemblance to this clip than some crazy acrobatic feet, but in the end we managed to do it. back and everything's hurting. I think we could say we've done it though, on to the next one. Now next up we've got a pretty rare skill from Zola here, it's a Cruyff turn into the top corner, incredible skill and just to show you how hard it is, this is Zola trying to recreate it many years later and that's the best attempt he got. Now a score pin kick is one of the rarest ways to score a goal and you hardly ever see these in any games and today I'm going to be seeing just how difficult it actually is. So I'll start off the first day on the score pin kicks and honestly this is a lot harder than it looks. I'm not sure if any of you have tried this out but it's really not easy. So after one day of pretty much constant fouled attempts, I came back out the next day, the weather was a lot better and yeah, this is how it went down. You have to be like lean. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's so hard. 
You just can't see where the ball is, that's what makes it so difficult. Next up, there's a Dan Cruyff control. Awesome, awesome skill. Let's see how hard it is. Okay, it's a Dan Cruyff turn. Let's try it out. You want to hit there? I mean, have we just done it straight away? He's decent, this lad. He's decent. Have a gander, mate. Have a First gander. attempt, mate. <laughs> So next up we've got the Urzel chip. This is a keeper diving down and when he comes near the goal he tends to do this weird skill where he kind of slams down on the ball, it bounces the floor, pops up and goes over the keeper into the goal. So It's actually not hard at all. Next up we've got the seal dribble. This is probably one of the least rare ones of the video, but it's still an interesting skill to see how hard it is. This is where the player is dribbling the ball through the air, controlling it, keeping the ball away from the opponents. So the next rare skill we're going to be trying to do is the halfway line goal. This actually seems quite easy. All you've got to do is kick the ball in the goal from the halfway line. But then when you've got the time, you've got the keeper running back to beat, it gets a lot more difficult. Finally, we're going to be taking a look at the back control. This is one that only a few players do, but when pulled off, can be a super useful skill. Let's see how difficult it is. Okay, so we've got the back control. This is one that, you know, sticky situations you need to learn. It shouldn't be too hard, I don't think. 